When I was eight years old, my mother would bring me with her to the Sorrowful Mother Novena every Friday evening. What was unique about this experience was that we were not Catholic at the time. This experience of Marian devotion was instrumental in leading my family to enter the Catholic Church. There are many ways we depict images of Mary, such as statues, holy pictures, stained glass windows, and icons. Icons are different than holy pictures or statues which remind us of the person they represent. Icons invite us into the space of the person or event represented. Through devotion to the Mother of God, my family was led to a deeper experience of Christ. The Church teaches us that Mary's mission is that of leading others to Christ. And in the icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help, we encounter Mary as one who points the way to Christ. She is the way shower, the sign that proclaims the mystery of Christ to the world. The whole image of our Mother of Perpetual Help is about Jesus Christ and Mary's role as Mother of the Redeemer. This icon is filled with the message of the redeeming love of Jesus. We are made aware of the mystery of the incarnate and crucified love of Christ as we deeply reflect on her image and the meaning that is contained in this image of our Mother of Perpetual Help. When we look at the icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help, we are invited to read what is contained in the image. Icons are the gospel in image form. We are invited to read the icon as we would read a page in scripture. This reading of the icon leads us into an experience of Mary which deepens our devotion to her. Through reading the signs and symbols presented in the icon, we are led into a deeper experience of God. Icons are often described as windows into the mystery of God. And so the image of our Mother of Perpetual Help invites us into the mystery of Mary and Jesus. In the icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help, we read five chapters or elements of the Gospel story of Jesus. The first chapter is the face of the Blessed Mother. The second chapter is the right hand which is pointed directly into the heart center of the child God she is holding. The third chapter is the infant God she is presenting to us. The fourth chapter is the angels. And the fifth chapter is the golden background. As we begin our reading of the icon of our Mother of Petra Help, we are drawn to her face, which is outlined by her veil. In her veil, we notice an eight-pointed star. This is an ancient symbol used to identify an image of Mary. In the catacombs of the second century, we find that the image of the woman with child and a star above her head. The eight-pointed star represents that Mary as a morning star announcing the coming of her son, Jesus Christ. The star is a very important sign in reading the story of the birth of Jesus. In St. Matthew's Gospel, we have the star which the Magi followed to find Jesus. This star was an important symbol for the Gentile Christians. The Epiphany became the major Christmas feast for these Christians and the star was the identifying symbol that pointed to Christ just as it was for the ancient Magi of old. So the eight-pointed star on the veil of Mary tells us that she is the one who will reveal the mystery of Christ to us. The prophet Isaiah says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. Mary is this sign, this star, the one who proclaims the message of our redemption. As St. Luke writes in his Gospel, You shall conceive and bear a son and give him the name of Jesus. Great will be his dignity, and he will be called Son of the Most High. Next, our eyes are drawn to notice her penetrating gaze 
which invites us into this sacred space for us to reflect on. We notice that her right ear is exposed from under her veil and the smallness of her mouth. These elements in her face teach us that in order to hear the voice of God, we must be silent and listen. The exposed ear and smallness of mouth are the way the iconographer presents the ancient teaching of the Annunciation experience. Mary listened to the voice of the angel and accepted her role to be mother of the Redeemer. The first lesson of reading the icon is to create spaces in our daily life for the action of God. Mary's example of listening and her attentiveness to the movements of God are her teachings to us about the importance of being quiet and listening. We are to follow Mary's attitude in our own lives of making sure that we allow the time to be silent in the presence of God. May Mary, our mother of perpetual help, obtain for us the grace to imitate her in awareness of the movement of God that surrounds our daily experiences. <music>